Hello everybody, my name is Harshita Vyas and I am an assistant professor in Rai School of Management Studies in Rai University, Ahmedabad. So I'll be talking on working capital management which is uh, a part of the curriculum in financial management course. So uh, first we'll start with the basic meaning of what ca working capital is. So as you all know, working capital is the capital, the money, the cash, the uh, amount or the capital which is needed to to function or to take care or to manage the day-to-day -day operations of any business organization right so working capital means the firm's holding of the current or short-term assets such as cash receivables bank as cash then inventory or marketable securities because these short-term assets can be easily converted into cash right so these are the most liquid assets of any company so that is why working capital is the holding of these assets then these items are also referred to as circulating capital because it keeps on circulating in the business um, business organization in different departments for their uh, effective functioning and also corporate executives they devote a considerable amount of attention to this why because if something uh, mismanagement some mismanagement happens in maintaining this it will be uh, so the entire organization might witness a haphazard way of dealing with the day-to-day -day operations so this was the meaning and then we'll talk about the working capital management so it it is concerned with the problems that arise in attempting to manage the current assets the current liabilities and the interrelation that exists between them so there is current liabilities we have where you have to pay to your suppliers or to your uh, suppliers or your de deliverable you have to uh, pay your deliverables and there can be uh, there is another aspect which is current assets so how much money you have or you will be getting from the people you have given products to so it is a very crucial and a very sensitive uh, sensitive con sensitive concept where you have to manage a balance between these two right so working capital management is all about that then we have concepts of working capital so there are two types of concept which is balance sheet concept and operating cycle concept right so balance sheet concept it uh, has two interpretation mm -hmm. where excess of current assets over current liabilities has to be there if you have to keep your working capital running and gross or the total current asset concept so we'll talk about the classification of working capital so you can see that there are two types of working capital gross and on the basis so there are two concepts one is the concept concept con on the basis of concept and there is uh, on the basis of time so on the basis of concept we have gross working capital net working capital and on the basis of time we have permanent and temporary which is also known as fluctuating working capital Okay, so concept of gross working capital, which is on the basis of concept. So gross working capital refers to the firm's total investment in current assets. Current assets are the assets which can be easily converted into cash. It is the most liquid uh, form of uh, form of assets, right? So uh, it involves cash, bank, debtors, bills receivable, marketable securities, or maybe inventory right then we have concept of networking capital right which is the second type so networking capital is the difference between the current assets and the current liability so gross was the total investments in current assets and net is the difference between the liabilities current liabilities and current assets and now current liabilities are those claims that outsiders which uh, claims of the outsiders which are expected to mature and have a payment right so a uh, positive networking capital would be what when current assets are higher than the current liabilities and negative networking capital would be where current assets are lesser than the current liabilities now we have concept of working capital so gross working capital it focuses on the optimization of investment in current uh, in the current time 
and financing of the current assets and net working capital focuses on the liquidity position of the firm so how liquid is the firm for example if so x amount is needed by any business organization on any given day how much liquidity they have they possess in that particular situation then we have permanent which is on the basis of time aspect we have permanent and variable working capital so as the name suggests permanent or fixed working capital is a minimum level that any organization maintains and they are required by a firm to carry out its business operations is referred as the permanent or fixed working capital and temporary or fluctuating or variable working capital so these three are the same name for this concept so fluctuating variable or uh, temporary working capital is the extra working capital which is needed to support the changing production and sales activity that a firm performs right so this is permanent and fluctuating so as you can see the horizontal line is the permanent working capital and the line which is going haphazardly in indefinite way is the fluctuating or temporary working capital now what is operating cycle so operating cycle is the time duration which is required to convert the sales right so you will sell the product you will sell the service and you will get the money so the time between two in giving the product and selling the product and getting the money is the operating cycle and after the conversion of the resources into inventories into cash so after conversion you, either you get the product or you get the raw material from your suppliers or you get cash from your customers so the operating cycle of a manufacturing company has three phases acquisition of resources manufacturing of the product and sale of the product so acquisition is when you are getting to acquire the labor the raw material the manufacturing of the product is where the work in progress phase then you have sale of the product so you either you sale on cash or you sale on credit now this is the working capital cycle where you start with raw material and you go to work in progress then your production is finished and your product is ready you go to the debtors to whom you have like you have given sold your product to and then you get the cash from them so this is the working capital cycle now there are some advantages of working capital uh, solvency of the business so solvency means what how much cash how much solvent how much how much uh, liquid that particular business is then goodwill it gives you goodwill if you have uh, good working capital management it builds your goodwill in the market it it can help you the goodwill will help you in acquiring or getting easy loans when required by the business cash di discounts can be given to you if you are able to pay on time or get uh, a money from other people right regular supply of raw materials will be given to you because you will be you pay on time you deliver on time so regular supply would be there regular payments of salaries wages would be there for all your employees so this is also one aspect where organization can keep on running because pe people are the ones who are performing all these operations so it is important to keep their homes running by giving them on time salaries and wages then you have ability to face crisis so when you have uh, a robust working capital management you will be able to manage any time which you any crisis uh, tenure which you might face due to any uncertainty then you have the disadvantages of excessive working capital so it is not good to maintain excessive working capital also why because uh, ideal funds earns on profit so if there are funds which are left ideal they are not doing anything they are not required anywhere so you if you would have invested it into the business or somewhere you would have earned some interest or some extra money over it so it has been wasted so this is one disadvantage then another is it leads to unnecessary purchase so when you have extra money it happens with individuals also you have for example 1000 rupees in your pocket you might end up stopping by the roadside and buying something so excessive or unnecessary purchases then you also have it implies that you have excessive debtors 
or defective credit policy so it means that you are giving credit to people without any policy and you have excessive debtors which keep on uh, making payments to you so it's a, it is a disadvantage to the business it also leads to the overall inefficiency of the firm quite uh, understood and then bad relationship with the bank and the financial inst right then you have uh, a few disadvantages of inadequate working capital so inadequate working capital would give you what you are not able to pay your short term liabilities you are not you have le le lose you have lost all the goodwill then you will not be able to avail the discounts that you would have and then it will be uh, difficult for your firm to exploit all the favorable market conditions and rate of return of invest on investment would be falling with the shortage of working capital and it will be difficult for you to maintain or to pay for the day to day operations so this was all about working capital management thank you